VC. How are we? Hope everybody's well. Thanks for tuning in again. Today, or tonight's video, um, is CDs, CDs, CDs. It's raining CDs. But these are stuff, these are CDs I've collected over the last probably three, four months. Last time I've shown us the CDs, since I last showed CDs on a, you know, last time on my channel. So, um, I don't know, a few months ago. So, like sort of the general theme around the world, the thrifty stores, Salvos, Vinnies, Red Cross, uh, you know, you know. Um, not much vinyl going on there. Um, not much vinyl on offer. So, you know, you go to the vinyl section first and then you head off to the CD section. Um, and you often don't leave empty handed from there. Um, so yeah, I'll just go through and show you some of these. I have listened to probably at least half of them. Still quite a few I haven't listened to and see if I remember anything about them. Um, I have actually bought a few new CDs. Um, generally I'll just buy some new CDs that are on sale at sort of music stores. Just to, yeah, just if there's anything there that I see is good value and something I'm after. Um, having a beer with you tonight. Cheers. Nice drop this one, Cronenberg. Uh, French beer. Uh, used to drink this one a lot when I was drinking, uh, drinking, living and drinking in the UK. Um, I've got to drink my beer because, you know, that grandma guy, he's been, you know, last video, or the other video, he, he's stealing my beers. Like you can see, he was just parading my VB around. My, my beer, and he just, no shame, that bloke, no shame. So I thought I'd better drink him up before he grabs one of them. I hope everybody is well. All right, let's go and show you what we've got. Ah, uh, bless the blessed, bless you. <laughs> um, the best of Blue Oyster Cult, just a compilation. Um, so these are, as I say, the first few I'll tell you when they stop they are brand new, about sort of $10 each, these ones. Yeah, Blue Oyster Cult, I dig them. Actually just found my first uh, vinyl of them I got from the Glebe show, something mirrors, something mirrors. Yeah, I dig Blue Oyster Cult, so. I, was, I wanted to get a best of Iggy Pop and Iggy and the Stooges Raw Power. Andrew from Tales from the Crate, favourite band. So I've heard him talk a lot about it and didn't have anything from them, so I thought I'd pick that up. And it's yeah, it's Raw Power, isn't it? So that Detroit sort of hard rock, punk rock sort of scene, I'm definitely keen to learn more about. Spider Bait. This is a great Aussie. Uh, what do you call them, sort of rock, electronic rock really, sort of alternate rock, um, pretty hard hitting sort of electric sort of vocals, not sort of dance sort of music, more it's rock music but with sort of a lot of electric sort of vocals and stuff like that. This is a good band, solid, very solid band in the 90s and 2000s. Um, yeah, if, just try one song just to see what, if you think you like them. Fast and fast and hard hitting spider bait excuse me buy me a pony check that one out buy me a pony spider bait Weezer another great rock we call them alt alt rock sort of uh, yeah uh, not, uh, yeah sort of rock sort of hard hitting great stuff just um, Weezer uh, this is a great album. I've been after this one for quite a long time, and um, I was going back to this uh, major, you know, music store, JB Hi-Fi. People in Australia know that, but it's just amazing. It's our our major music store, and this was never available. And I asked the guy, and it was interesting. He sort of said, "Yeah, I mean, this should be easily available," but he thinks it's a way that the uh, companies are conspiring to buy people to make people buy digital because it wasn't available. I had to order it in from I'm not sure where but anyway this is a great album and this has got a song in my garage which I should be playing now but Art Tatum's playing, Tum Tum's playing um, and yeah something that James Griffiths mentioned in my garage should be my theme song. <coughs> Stone Roses didn't you know talk people you know, 
Uh, hear people talk about this. I don't really know a lot about them, so happy to pick up the greatest. Oh no, this is their, I think their debut album, which is just self-titled. I listened to this actually quite a long time ago, and I can't remember much to say about it, so I have to go spin that again. Okay, that was probably the end of the uh, new CDs, and the rest of these are charity stores, ranging between $1 and $3. I was really stoked to pick this, pick this one up. Killing Joke. Um, these are punk rock, pretty heavy hitting, um, I think US band, this, this, um, just self-titled, I don't think it's, it's not their debut, I'm pretty sure, it's 2003, um, but yeah, so was, that's a good hard hitting band there. The Whitlams, um, a really nice Aussie band, sort of jazz rock you might call it alt rock um really dig dig the whitlams and i might do an unplug or unearth on them one day i really love listening to them growing up sort of in the night 90s late 90s uh, sort of mid 90s probably um 2000s Bit of nina simone here comes the sun what a song talking about sun it's a cold snap over here now um, you know we've had pretty good weather as you can see from some of my videos but um, there's a cold snap hit hit today um, and I think it'll hit maximum of 18 degrees today um, which doesn't sound too bad for you know you Canadians and um, but 18 degrees a year is pretty damn cold because when I was living in say in London 10 degrees was fine there but 10 degrees here is absolutely freezing so it's not the absolute number, it's just the uh, the other factors involved. So ten, the number is, doesn't mean a hell of a lot. Um, the Dixie Chicks. First Dixie Chicks. I don't think I've spun this one yet. So uh, What have we got here? Ah, Kings of Leon. Not sure which album this one is. Aha Shake uh, Heartbreak. A uh -huh, shake heartbreak. Okay, haven't spun that one yet. The darkness. Yeah, you don't hear people talk about that. They're much permission to land. I don't think I've spun that one either. Um, this is a classic one. Presidents of the United States in the. This must have been two, 2000, oh, 1990. Jeez, they're small fonts. 90 something. Maybe 90. I don't know. Whatever. 90 something. Um, yeah, there's classic songs on this. Kitty, um, Dune Buggy, Peaches. I used to really dig this when it came out. Probably, wouldn't, it would have been probably mid 90s. What the? Anyway, 94 maybe. Anyway, Presidents of the United States. And Penny and the Mystics. No idea. They haven't been spun either yet. Alright, there's a lot to get through, so eight minutes to skip. Opeth, my first Opeth. Um, one of Robert Blackstar's, hope the eye's okay, buddy. Uh, Damnation, that one hasn't been spun yet either. Gorillas, gotta love gorillas. Not talked about much in the VC. Gorillas are awesome. Um, man, they're a great band. So, uh, oh, Arctic Monkeys, this is just an EP, I think. I bet you look good on the dance floor. A uh, bit of classic. Sort of pre high production, uh, do you call it heavy metal? I don't know, it's soft metal. <laughs> they were, I think, obviously heavier earlier albums. This is um, Hysteria. This is um, just very toned down. I uh, don't know what year. 80s, 80, 80 something, 85. I could be so wrong. Probably am. Anyway, I actually liked it. Um, you know, Rocket, Pour Some Sugar On Me, I can say that in Portuguese. Pour the suc a main. There you go. <laughs> That's all i got. Anyway, I used to sing that to my missus. <clears throat> um, now she just probably slapped me over the head. <laughs> Bit of Dead Kennedys. This is a uh, compilation. I'm very stoked to find that. There's some great songs on this. Dead Kennedys, Give Me Convenience or Give Me Death. Hmm. Bit of Foo Fighters. Self-titled, this taboo. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't just say it because it's self-titled. Wasn't that 
overly impressed by that one, actually, to tell you the truth. There's some good songs, but not overly impressed. Daddy Warhols. This is great. Great band. I mean, I obviously heard of them. Um, is it the song, the Vodafone song? It's, uh, not, well, it's the Danny Warhol song that actually on the Vodafone ads. I think it's Bohemian Like You. Great. Uplifting. Just good rock. Rock, blues rock, sort of alternate rock. It's just... Daddy Warhol's awesome. Curved Air, really nice um, progressive English band and sort of 70s, I reckon. Uh, air Conditioning, really good album. I've got one of theirs on vinyl, but I think this is the better one of the. I think I've got the second album, which is called the second album. Guns N' Roses, Use Your Illusion, this is number one. Classic, never had it, so happy to get it. And this, really good songs on there. There's not really many bad ones. Bit of James Brown, Star Time. Very happy. You always got to pick up some James Brown. I think that's a good one. I had a live one. It didn't sound pretty terrible, but hopefully that's a, a good sounding one. Um, oh, a bit of Faith No More. You know, not talked about either very much, but you know, massive in the 90s, weren't they? So, yeah. Um, ah, Yothi Yindi, Australian uh, Aboriginal band, who actually I, I've been to one Glastonbury in my life, um, and they were playing there, and that was hilarious. It was awesome. It was, they were great. It was very early in the, probably on the first day. There wasn't many people there, but there was a few Aussies waving the flag and really dug it and got into it. Aboriginal rock. Uh, Aldum, Alo... I think this is a South, it might be a Brazilian or some South American, I think. I've got the feeling. I think it is. Uh, it's very sort of peace, hippie, probably 70s, I'd say. Sound good. The Snatch soundtrack? Bad Loves, another Aussie band, sort of rock, sort of pop rock. Um, but this, I always remember a great song of these guys. And what year was this? 93, A Mushroom, which is a famous Australian, oh, it's a nice little label, famous Australian label. Um, Bad Loves, check out the Bad Loves Green Limousine. It's a great song. All right, nearly halfway there. Crikey, I'll speed up for you. Counting Crows, this is a compilation. This is a great, sensational album. Just compilation, great compilation. Really good um, lit track listing, and a few tracks I didn't know about. Counting Crows, films about ghosts, the best of. Really good. If you see that, pick it up. Chebedi, Australian sort of 2000s rock. <clears throat> Bush, love Bush. Happy to get that on CD. Razor Blade suitcases. They were played at the same Glastonbury festival I went to as well. Natalie Imbruglio. Um, Australian female vocalist, married to um, Daniel Johns from Silverchair. I'm not sure if they are anymore, actually. Um, she did a feature on the Neighbours series. <laughs> Joss Stone. The Jazz Sessions. Sounds good. I don't think I've spun this yet, but uh, I'm not sure if I know Joss, but I think she's I think a lot of years will. Uh, Blink-182. Grinspoon, um, another Aussie sort of alt-rock rock, 2000s, 90s probably, the Metallica Black, already got that, but if you see that for a dollar or two, you've got to pick it up, and give, give it to somebody, Crowded House, um, Together Alone, so nice tracks on there, you know, Crowded House are great, and we'll have to talk about them one day, even though you all know them, but uh, you know, you don't see them show much. Maybe we could do a ranking of their CDs. Um, let me just take that off. You won't have music to to drown out my dull soul, dull soul tones. Bit of Adele, 25. I like Adele, and 21 as well. Uh, Lennon, Legend, Legend. Um, best of Van Morrison, uh, Volume Two. So probably some different ones, which 
Not a lot stands out to me, but yeah, that'll be interesting to spin. Haven't spun it yet either. Ah, the best of Stray Cats. Actually, I bought this as a new one because I want to talk about this band at some stage. Because they're affiliated with a band, that I, an Aussie band that I love. But uh, my first one of the uh, Booker T's and the MG's, Green Onions. Probably the big song, isn't it? Um, yeah, cool stuff. Um, Alright, ah, Paul Kelly. Just great Aussie singer-songwriter, legendary guy. I actually, it's so hard to find this stuff, this guy's um, albums on vinyl. So I just put the, bought the, bit the bullet and bought this greatest hits. So it's from sort of two eras, 85, 97, 98, 08. And I much prefer the 85, 90, 70s, early era stuff. But yeah, Paul Kelly, awesome. Singer songwriter, really good. If you don't know him, check him out. Paul Kelly as well. Another Whitlam's love this city. Uh, massive attack. Shown a couple, a few massive attack now. This one's Blue Lines. Great stuff. Just shooting through because well, Basement Jacks are the singles. I like Basement Jacks. Where's your head at? Uh, this one's called Tonic for Henry. No idea, but you know, worthwhile punt. Little VD, VVD. V, uh, V dub, V, 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 uh, dub combi there. This one's the Ya Ya Ya's. I think I've heard someone talk about these on the VC. Ya Ya Ya's. Sorry if you can't see that. Um, yeah. Good, good stuff. Stone Temple Pilots. Core. Classic. I'm not sure if I've shown that one before. Bit of Jack Johnson. No cover, but, uh, self titled. Maybe. No, it's not. Something else there, but anyway, whatever. Okay, um, oh, I can't even remember getting this one. B-52s, I love the B-52s, so probably a compilation. Van Halen, 84, classic. Don't have it on any media, I do now. Had to, could, had to leave, had to, had to pick this one up. Duran Duran, greatest hits. Classic songs, you know. Not talk about much, but classic in the 80s. Bit of Bon Jovi, greatest hits. Um, Fallout Boy. Sorry, just Pixie is really stoked to get that one. I was, got my first Pixie um, Doolittle, which on um, vinyl, and this one's Bossa Nova, which is great as well. Um, whoops, this one's a good one. Blind Melon, cool rock, rockin'. This one's a great one. Uh, Soul Asylum, uh, really good. Uh, Grave Dancers Union, great album. Hang on, I'll what year? 92. Great stuff. Beastie Boys. Happy to get this. And this is a great one. Uh, Root Down. Uh, yeah, it's just... Probably after, say, maybe six to eight songs, I'm sort of, I'm sort of ready to take the CD off because I probably had enough of that theme stuff. But yeah, Incubus. Good stuff. And uh, another Spider Bait one. This is quite funny because I think it was $3, but she said, oh, it's only a kid's one, kid's CD, so you just have it 50 cents, so it's not a kid's one. It's quite a bait. Grinspoon, another Aussie stuff. Sorry, I'm just really shooting through now. Snow Patrol, final straw. That is the final straw for you, for me, and I'm sure you're happy about that. So take care, everybody. Hope everyone's well, and I will see you again soon.